guys welcome back um, in this video we'll be fixing the common variables we'll be passing into the constructor of our controller so they are available to all the views it's been uh, really hassle troubleshooting those things while we are focused on other things in our controller methods now another thing I did uh, in, the, in the last video I forgot to tell you um, is in our um, uh, breadcrumb we can instead of using the URL, uh, we had a, I think we had a URL like this URL project slash show and then this instead of that change it to a route an action or a route you can use action and then pass in this slug by doing so when you ref when you click on these these projects will take you to the project's home and this will keep you on the same page if you click here it's going to keep you on the same slug and that will be useful when you drill further down into task and then subtask and if you come back want to come back to this project you just click here and it'll, be, it'll bring you back to the project so you can also do that with the URL just you have to pass in the right key and the slug but I think this is more easier never mind in this video, we'll focus on passing in these vari these variables in our constructor, constructor, so we don't need to repeat ourselves like tons of time. Anyway, so we're gonna need a constructor. Oh, sorry. And we're gonna call it construct. And all, all we are doing here really is we are not displaying any view. We are passing in the variables. Now key to pass in this variable is when you are passing in this variable, um, you're going to use these setters. If you know PHP already, you know what I'm talking about. You're going to allocate space in the memory, create some variables, and then set those variables to these uh, values. And then we're going to run we're going to use a helper method of uh, on a class called view that's going to pass into the to the every view that's generated every time this view is generated is going to pass in i'm going to show you how to do that so very first thing is we're going to create those variables first let's call them protected because only this cl class has an access to them so there'll be a user like we have here there'll be a projects and then there will be a current time there will be today and there will be projects trashed and I guess for now these variables are enough and if we need more we'll create them here now here I would like to present I would like to set this variable so we, we, we will call this user and here we're gonna say authenticated user that's how you just set it up and this variable will be set every time this class is called it's going to run this constructor and here we're gonna say uh, projects and we're going to query these projects like so easy huh? very very easy and current time and I'm gonna just copy this whole thing here and paste you'll see how clean our uh, controller will be after we finish doing this and then I can say here to die and just copy from here until there and today and then I'm gonna call it uh, projects I think trash projects trash and that is going to be this copy pasting sometimes is better than typing again because we can make a mistake from um, uh, the camel case or lowercase uppercase and then if the autocomplete is on then you can of course it helps otherwise sometimes troubleshooting takes long time but anyway that's another thing now we need to pass them in in a using a helper method on a view class and this is our class that's available I didn't know about this class for a very long time until recently but if you're watching this video of course you can benefit instantly that's the benefit of watching videos now we're passing in this variable call user 
the same way we pass in in the compact function so we're gonna pass, sorry instead of class we're gonna say here view share the method name is share if I if I open this I'm gonna import this class on the top and I think I'm gonna use a facade here and I'm gonna import on the top multiple definitions exist so basically um, uh, what happens is if you we have we have been using facades so it should be okay for Laravel or composer to look up if you go here you will notice all these helper classes you know these helper classes uh, when you need to use a particular one if you have ever used before you'll you'll remember them straight away but until unless you use one of them it's hard to remember at the right moment you know oh there's a, there's a class there which I can make use of so I just bumped into this class recently and then I looked into this class and I found these helper methods and played around a little bit and figured out oh this can be a really good thing rather than repeating myself I can make use of this I have never read any single blog article but I'm proud of that I figured out myself but anyway um, it doesn't matter whether you figure out yourself or you copy as long as the job gets done that's what matters so just pass in this user and that's it what we just set up here our setters will call this variable and pass in this this user and we'll say view share and that's it and here we're gonna call it projects and here we're gonna call it projects and we will create another one so run time copy paste paste and then here I'm gonna create another one called today 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 how easy is that and then project stretch and now all these variables are available to all the views believe it or not that's all you have to do so what you can do essentially now is that um, start removing with one of the views so we just worked on our show view why don't we just start with that because that's fresh so here I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of all these um, except this one we need this one because this is something it's dedicated to this view only but today current time user I don't need that I don't need projects trash and projects but I need in the view I don't need to uh, run them because they're already available and then if I refresh my my view and if it doesn't give me any error that means they are available to this view and it gives me this error the current time is not available which means it has already uh, found today it didn't find current time so maybe I spelled it wrong so current time and here of course I spelled it wrong it's twice that's the benefit of autocomplete make use of it don't don't follow me <laughs> sometimes I make silly mistakes because I'm trying to focus on giving you information so I'm making mistakes I apologize for that but it works uh, it was a typo error so all the same variables are available and we're gonna go ahead and get clean up our template a little bit here so we don't need user projects current time and today we don't need that we don't even need this and we can just see how clean it is so we, we, we actually passed all these variable once and it's ready for us to be used in any of the views it's amazing I love it and here we can do the same things and then here we can do if just in case in the future if, because we haven't really tested out those views but if some some mistake happens and they give an error you know uh, something is just type of error or something it's nothing major you can always now you should be smart enough to fix yourself some of the errors and and that's it so in this view in this uh, video we created some private uh, product protected variables and we used our setters to set them to whatever whatever we wanted to and using the view share helper function um, we passed into our constructor and we are saying every time a view is created pass in these variables so that's pretty good sometimes too many variables if you're not making use of those little variables in the view uh, if they're available it's just not efficient so try to use the variables that are 
definitely definitely required in every view or most of the views and then pass them in the constructor and then they can be make, made use of so thank you very much for watching in the next video we'll start our journey to um, expand this application by creating some tasks and working on the task controller and uh, everything related to tasks so thanks a lot have a nice day